She's not minding her business and she's a procrastinator and instigator. You nasty, wig headed. Black. Wait a minute, we back on. Hold on, you black. Here she go. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this happened in New Jersey. Okay, this happened in New Jersey. This Karen was since arrested. She was arrested. The police did catch up to her behind. So let me just get into this. This was the Daily Mail and a New Jersey Karen 60 is arrested for repeatedly screaming the N-word, which was bleeped out, as you can see. Um, at a black woman who stepped in when she was complaining about her, um, her mailman. That's what she was doing. So this black woman just said something and she got all up in arms because, you know, and who knows, I would love to see this mailman. I wonder if it was a black delivery carrier. I, it just curious. So anyway, Claudia Emanuel has been charged with bias, intimidation, and harassment stemming from her argument with a 40-year-old, and this is the Black woman, she is Tamika Bordeaux, um, a Bayonne, uh, that's in Bayonne, uh, New Jersey, by the way, Bayonne, New Jersey, on Monday afternoon, according to a statement from the Bayonne Police Department. Bordeaux had left her house on West 17th Street at around 3 p.m. and observed Emmanuel talking to a postal worker about late delivery of her mail. Mm -mm -mm. As Bordeaux approached Emmanuel to offer some neighborly advice, the 60-year-old proceeded to hurl a steam of foul mouth racially charged expletives at her, including the N-word. Okay, so Bordeaux turned on her phone and recorded Emmanuel, heaping verbal 
abuse on a public street. One of the clips she later shared on her Facebook, Emmanuel, is seen gyrating her hips as if that's a turn on. Look at this woman. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Um, and mocking gesture and accusing the victim of following her. Now, she's behind this black woman. How the hell can she follow you if you're the one walking behind her? Uh, kind of dumb there. Uh, okay. She's following the victim who was the black woman, even though she is the one who is seen walking behind Tamika. Yeah, how can she follow you if you're walking behind her? Ooh, sometimes races, pick up a book and start reading, you know? Get them brain cells activated. I came out of my apartment to talk to the mailman and I just wanted to know where my mail was and she had to be an intrusion. She had to be an intrusion, okay. She is not minding her business and she's a procrastinator and an instigator. That's some old ass slang there, lady. Emmanuel says the camera, you know, says into the camera, you dirty effing wig headed B. That's what she said. Another clip, Emmanuel yells at Bordeaux, call the cops, you effing N word. How long are you going to follow me? This is what uh, Tamika was saying and call me the N word. Bordeaux calmly uh, inquires of the woman. You went into my street. You followed me. Emmanuel shoots back to which Bordeaux points out that she happens to live on that same street. As Bordeaux reaches a 7-Eleven convenience store on Avenue C, several bystanders come to her defense and yell at Emmanuel to stop being effing racist. Yeah, I did see a black man, but I think um, even another black woman stepped in. One of the passerby tells Bordeaux that she got the patience of a saint for showing restraint. Yeah, she sure do. Bordeaux explains to the other woman, and this is a other, another black woman that happened to be there, um, who was, um, you know, she was explaining to her she was not going to react with aggression towards Emmanuel's because she knows that she's trying to provoke her, which Karen usually does. You know, they want to provoke you if you respond and, and well, you know, go off and, and hit her like she deserves it. Then, you know, she suddenly becomes the victim in American society. They won't see that she antagonized the whole thing. They won't see it that way. They'll only... Uh, they they will exclude everything they saw up until the point where you punched the hell out of her. Okay. So she tells the woman, you know, I've been black for 40 years. She said, N-word is not going to do anything to me. A police said a concerned citizen was able to step in and calm down Emmanuel ultimately coaxing her to leave the area. Bordeaux turned over the video evidence showing the confrontation to the police, sparking an investigation, and it quickly led to Emmanuel, who was arrested the following afternoon. According to police, Emmanuel had moved to Bayonne from Tennessee in September 2020. So you only been there for a few months and you're this much of a nuisance? You know, there's a lot of black people um, that live in Bayonne. There's a lot that live there. And in fact, I had a friend that lived in Bayonne many years ago. Okay, um, Bordeaux told local news outlet that the racial abuse has left her traumatized, especially given her grandparents' experience living in North Carolina during Jim Crow. 
Mm -mm -mm. I broke down because those words are connected into some history, she told WPIX 11. State Assemblywoman Angela McKnight, who represents Hudson County, uh, issued a statement calling the incident a racist act and demand that Emmanuel and others like her be held accountable for her actions. Now, my question, did she buy her home there or is she renting? Because if she's renting, you can do something about it. You can go to whoever she is renting from and demand that she gets removed. You can take action when somebody like her comes and gingerfy and they're renting. Now, don't always assume they bought their homes. Don't make that assumption. A lot of these ginger fires are renters. A lot of them are. So that's one of the things that, you know, they can find out, especially an assembly woman. She definitely should be able to find this out. This behavior is becoming so common now that we simply refer to these racist people as Karen and let it go. I just can't do that, she wrote. I put myself into Tamika's shoes and I know it had to uh, take a lot of restraint for her to endure what she went through that day. I thanked her for being the strong black woman that she is to remain calm and reserved during the entire ordeal. Bayonne Mayor Jimmy Davis also addressed the incident on Facebook, writing, the video content was appalling and certainly not indicative of who we are in Bayonne. Unfortunately, this is who America is. This is what you are. Sorry, whether you like it or not, it is. So when you make these comments, oh, this is not who we are. Yes, it is. This has been who you are for 500 damn years. This is, <laughs> this is it. You're just the embodiment of your forefathers. Our community will continue to stand together and work to eliminate these acts of hatred. So, ladies and gentlemen, mm -mm -mm. you know, uh, this just go to show you, you know, just because we're in the North, it does not mean that these folks are less racist. Let me tell you something. I've been in the North the majority of my life, and I can tell you these folks are just more covert than they are in the South. And to be honest with you, I would prefer the people in the South. At least they're up front. You know where you stand. These folks try to be covert. They think if they don't say the N-word, they're not racist, but they show it in their actions. You know, it, it, it's the ones that will be all smiley up in your face, especially on a job, and then go behind your back to the boss and try to cut your throat. That's what they are like up in the North. They're covert. And to me, they're far worse than anyone in the South. And in fact, I'll go as far as telling you, they're far worse than a Klansman. They are. You, you would be better off dealing with the Klansmen than dealing with a lot of these covert people because they'll try to do all kinds of little nasty low down things to you and then professing to you at the same time that they're not a racist. That's how they are in the North. But y'all, please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.